Come on, guys. Come on, a doll hunt. Let's go. Just left my PO box and I got two packages, so I'm excited. So there's one in this U-line box and then this one, this other box. And this one, I want to show you, but I don't want to show any of their information, but it has Winx drawings that are so cute. <gasps> um, I'm excited about those, but I upload the PO box videos kind of spread out, so I wanted to give them their time. And then there's this envelope too. Obviously can't show you the other side. Um, so I'm gonna like hide these in my car and we're gonna go thrift shopping. I'm excited because it's been a while and y'all love those videos, so I need to go do that. But it's not the weekend, so hopefully it's still good. Anyway. I apologize that these clips are slightly awkward. What doll is that, by the way? She's really pretty and she's like, she definitely looks like an older doll. Anyway, these clips are super awkward because there was this big dude that just would not get out of my face. It's not that I was in his way when, look at those. It's not that I was in his way like he was looking at this stuff. He was done looking at this stuff, walked away, and then when I came up, he like started like getting all up in my business. It was really weird. And anyway, you can kind of see a shoe there, I think. Uh, yeah. And then over here, this is like the bigger dolls. I don't know what she was, but she was different. And then that doll was really interesting too. Five below to get the G4.5 G1 ponies. G4.75, I don't even know. I didn't find them. I found some other stuff that I went ahead and picked up. I hate five below so much, so I haven't gone in in all this time. Ugh, but I have to go into another one now to find those ponies. But I found this, I just got this Pinkie Pie because she was $3 and like, I don't have this one. And then the Sea Pony Baby, because I never picked these up and I was surprised to see her. Hopefully the other five below has the other one, because I think there's like two or three. Um, so now I have the pink and green one. And then I got some Littlest Pet Shops, because I just love Littlest Pet Shops so much. So I got two Lucky Pets. These are the full-sized ones. I didn't buy the other Lucky Pets that were always at Walmart, because they were the mid-sized ones, and I don't want those. And then I got two Thirsty Pets, because I don't have very many Thirsty Pets. Uh, so yeah, that was a waste of $20. <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to drive again, so we're going to go to the Kid to Kid and the Savers, and then if there's a five below up there, we'll go there. Otherwise, um, I don't know. Okay, now for Savers round two. This used to be, like, the bad Savers. I used to call this one the bad Savers, but lately it's been a better one. I actually skipped this section because I was just anxious about going to the doll section, but there were, like, a ton of little pet shop play sets. Nothing I ended up picking up, though. And there's my cool shoes. I didn't really get to show you because Brett wasn't vlogging for me this time. <laughs> um, and at this Savers, I didn't really find much. As you can see, it's mostly just nude Barbies, which is the curse of all thrift stores at this point. There were a couple dolls that I think might be Barbie movie dolls, but unless they have, like, outfits or a more rare one, I'm not interested in picking them up. I didn't end up getting this bag. I kind of regret it because there's a palace pet and a pony that I kind of want in there, but the price was a little high anyway, so it's fine. And then I got this Yasmin, I think feeling pretty, good find, I like brats, and then um, I believe I got Twilight Sparkle here, but I can't 100% recall if that was here or the last store, we'll see though. Just going through everything, very pretty dolls, oh I got her, I got, is that Sofina or Avery or what, I don't, I don't know the Moxie girls names, I'm just buying them when I see them because I think they're pretty and I'm interested in starting to collect them, so <laughs> yeah. That's it for this thrift store. It was definitely more dolls than the last one, but overall, just having bad thrift luck lately. I hope you forgive me for speeding up this clip a little bit. I decided to stop speeding up clips in my thrift hunts just because you guys like to see the dolls, but oh my god, I did not know my hair was in this clip the entire time. That's embarrassing. Well, there's my hair, guys. Anyway, there was not a single new doll. Like, not a single doll that I saw today was new at Kid to Kid, unfortunately. This store is kind of a hit and miss. This is the only kid to kid in town that actually ever has dolls. But usually this store is either like amazing, like they got like 25 dolls and they're all fantastic, or it's terrible and they have nothing. Just really depends. I'm still very surprised that all the Monster High dolls are gone, honestly. They, there was like a bin of Monster High dolls once and they're all gone. And then someone bought two of the... Well, someone bought the Descendants doll and then the doll wearing the Descendants doll's dress. If some kid had the foresight to know that they went together, or like a parent or something, I'm impressed. Otherwise, it was definitely a collector. Um, just going through the dolls. I really didn't see anything new. I really kind of want that... They're either We Three Friends or like Best Friends Club or something. BFC Inc. maybe? I don't remember. But that's an MGA doll, and she's really pretty, and I'm tempted by her. It's just... 
I never see them for sales, so if I get one, she'll be my only one for a long time. I decided to look through here because I saw a palace pet. And also, like, where are the My Little Ponies? I never see My Little Ponies. It's weird. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the thrift hunt today. Now for the haul. Hey, everyone. So we're back from the thrift haul. This was kind of a bad thrift haul for a dog collector, but a great haul in general for a pony slash other stuff collector. So I'm excited about it. First of all, I want to say that I bought a ridiculous amount of stuff at Five Below and... Yeah, I've never really shopped there before, but if you want to see that haul, it'll be a different video. Just because uh, most of you guys are here for dolls, I get it. But there's still going to be some pony stuff in the big bag from Savers. So, um, let's get started with all the stuff I got at Savers. Um, I went to two different Savers and Kid to Kid. Kid to Kid didn't have anything new, though. Um, but the Savers hauls were pretty good. Uh, first of all... <laughs> I got Crazy Frog! Um, so this is the one in the vest and the little, like, flight pilot cap. I don't really know what to call these. Um, and I got him for $4. I cannot believe that I got a crazy frog plushie. I didn't even know these existed. It's awesome. So if you're as old as I am, then you know him. Um, it's really funny. I almost wanted to gift him to my brother just because my brother was the one who showed me crazy frog when I was a kid, but my brother took my N64 and won't give it back. My N64 signed by Mike Matei and the Angry Video Game Nerd and a bunch of others, so he doesn't get anything until I get my N64 back. Anyway, um, next, this this little baby was in the same area as Crazy Frog. I just really like the palace pets, I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure this is Aurora's pet. No, I have no idea what her name is. It's probably Rose, if I had to guess. Um, but yeah, $3.00. Big nice plushie. I actually have Lily, the um, Tiana's cat, from the same set. I don't really care for the other pets, but I really like the cats, so. I do have Ariel's pet um, treasure, the cat. I have the actual Build-A-Bear plushie, but I also really like these plushies. Anyways, there's going to be a bunch of stuff from Five Below in here, just because at the first store I didn't get a bag, so sorry about that. Um, here's a bag from Savers. Now, I got this because I don't have this pony. I have no idea who this pony is, so I got this whole bag of... Oh, how funny. Look, isn't this an LOL doll's hat? Like, um, downtown VB sister, I think. Cool. Um, this is one of those gross Masham plushies. I guess it's Trixie missing her tail, but yeah. I know you're probably gonna be like, Trixie's blue, Brooke, but like, she really has Trixie's cutie mark. I don't know. Um, I don't like those ponies. They're weird. Just, I don't like, they're squishy and they look funny. Anyway, here is the pony. I still do not know who this is. Oh, oh, do I have her? I actually... I think I have the regular release of this pony. I'm trying to see if she's up on my shelf right now. She's still in box if I do have her. Oh, cool. Okay. So this is um, Nurse Redheart, right? And she's from the series based, like, with the mobile game, but the ones that have, like, the pearly skin. And I think she might have a misprinted cutie mark. But I didn't have this pony. At least I didn't have her out of box. So good to have another one. Or good to have one at all. And then there's these balloons, which are probably My Little Pony, but not this pony, but cool. I sincerely doubt they come with the nurse, but I could be wrong. One of these, let me just throw it at the wall. Oh man, I hit something so it didn't stick. Oh, whatever. Okay, um, ew. Sand toy crab. They just put things together so randomly. Here's a tiger Lego movie two toy from McDonald's. <laughs> um, we have Prince Hans of the Southern Isles? Ugh. <laughs> I don't have any Hans merch at all, though, so he can go on the shelf. And then I got this frozen little lunchbox thing. Anything with Elsa on it I want, so whatever. It's fine. I really bought the bag for the pony. <laughs> it was only uh, $3, so who cares? And then a, um, a Spider-Man top. Okay, next thing. Let's get the Little's Pet Shops out. Again, I'm gonna have a whole video opening all the Little's Pet Shops and ponies, so... If you want to see that, wait for that video, because this one's going to be first. Um, and then this doll, I asked a group chat, and they told me this is feeling pretty Yasmin, so I'm sorry if it's not. I really have no idea. If it's not a Bratz doll that I already have, I probably can't identify her on the spot. It really depends, though. She looks a lot like my 99 Yasmin, but she has really bright red lips, and mine doesn't. So I know it's not 99 Yasmin, but here she is. I think she's really pretty. I used to not like this style of screening. Like, when I wanted to collect Bratz initially, I didn't want, or I wanted Bratz dolls, but I didn't want all of them, and it was because of this screening, but now I absolutely love this screening because I got my uh, 99 Yasmin in like 2013 or 14. Um, and this doll has that 
same screening. And I feel like Yasmin doesn't get this one a lot. And I think she's really pretty. So I'm excited to find her an outfit because there's no way I have even a single semblance of a piece of her outfit. So I'm just going to have to come up with something for her. But I have a lot of Bratz fashion packs. I'm sure I can make something work. It's cool to find a Bratz stall. I can't leave them behind when I find them. <laughs> because of all, imagine all those years where I left behind Bratz dolls without a second thought. Like I didn't even look at them. <sighs> that hurts me to think about. All right, this bag I got just because it's like Barbie shoes and stuff. Can't hurt. And it was $5. Uh, and also the thing that really sold me was that this Disney Store Elena mini doll was in here. The only mini dolls that I have are the Ralph Breaks the Internet ones and the, um, Ariel and her sisters pack. And I really like the Disney Store mini dolls. Oh, also obviously a ton of Disney fairies. So getting an Elena one is good. Now I have another one. I'd like to have more of these. They're just kind of hard to display. I'm planning, because I, I bought a resin kit, I'd like to make like mini doll stands that actually work, like custom stands for all of my mini dolls so that I can actually display them because after all this time, they deserve to be on display. So, yay Elena. And even just for Elena, I probably would have paid $4, but I also got this Polly Pocket. <laughs> Ooh, I knew there was a Rapunzel in here, but I didn't think she was Tangled the series. <gasps> What does this go to? This is so pretty. It says Jack specific. I do not know what this goes to. Look how pretty her face is. Ooh, I'm happy. Yay. I love Pascal's face. Look at that. <laughs> Score. I just saw the back. I didn't realize it was a Tangled the Series figure. Um, Tangled and Frozen and Princess and the Frog. I want like any merch I can get, even if it's like figures and stuff. So I'm happy with that. That's awesome. And then I got a ton of little Barbie accessories. I'm just going to go through some of them. This was really cool. It's like a, one of those department store boxes that when you buy stuff, they put them in, but it's got the like Barbie logo, but like a fancy one and it's a little box. I thought that was super cute. And then let me push some stuff out of the way. This I think is a little pet shop diaper or like a My Little Pony diaper or something. I'm not sure. If it is pony, it's vintage. Um, and then, oh, never mind. It's gotta be Barbie. Here's a Huggies box. Never gonna use that, but cool. And then this old Barbie brush, this frying or drying pan. Real ones know what I'm talking about there. Here's a little flipper, but I only got one, it seems. Yeah. Oh, and this Hello Kitty, I saw her. I was excited about her, because I have a Hello Kitty display now because of the, um, this almost seems like a Mega Block or a Lego. I don't know. She has like, see the hands? Um, because I have a bunch of Hello Kitty figures and stuff. She fell on the floor. It's fine. I'll pick her up at the end. Um, I display my Hello Kitty stuff with the Sanrio dolls, the Hello Kitty and Friends dolls. Um, little Barbie um, clipboard for a doctor. Here's a pet food bowl. Sorry, the lighting is so weird. There's like this rapture light here. Um, this thing! Mm, I don't want to drop all these shoes, so I'm just going to kind of show you them. I'm just going to put all these straight into my little... I have a little area for, like, doll shoes like this that I don't... I'm not going to bother to identify who they go to or anything, but if I need extra Barbie shoes, it's good to have extra. Speaking of that, I found a doll from, it's not Princess and the Pop Star, it's Rockin' Royals, which I haven't seen yet, but I found the Rockin' Royals doll, but her feet were missing. Like, I would have been fine with no shoes and no crown, which she didn't have, but she didn't have her feet. That was weird. I was so excited to find her, too. That was such a shame. Okay, this bag is so interesting. So, this is an Equestria Girls Twilight doll. I feel like I don't have this one, but it's possible that I do, but even if I do, I don't have these shoes. I know I don't. These shoes are darling. Watch me have her, though. That'll be awkward. My Equestria Girls dolls are not on display and haven't been since, like, 20... Whenever they came out, I bought, like, three of them. They were on display for a minute, and then I immediately put them in a box and never touched them again. Um, so they're gonna be going on display soon, so... If it's a double, that's totally fine. If not, yay. I know I do have this shirt, though. Like, I feel like I got it somewhere. But she's really cute. I really like this one. This is one of the, like, basic release ones. And I just love the Argyle socks over the heels. It's really cute. She's really cute. And then I also got this Lil Bratz, who is in a disaster of an outfit. I think this is probably Dana, but the Lil Bratz kind of have different names, so I have no idea. And she doesn't have shoes, but it's fine. She just came with Twilight, so it was random. And then, you know, a random comb, because why not? <laughs> All right, throw that. Next bag we got is this one. I bought this. Did I really buy this? Because there's one singular little pet shop in here. 
Oh, and this Tiana. Tiana's what sold me. Okay, I remember now. So I wasn't gonna get this bag, but the Littlest Pet Shop and Tiana and this really cute um, pony. Oh, it's Trixie, the Glitter Trixie. I don't have this one. Um, I stopped collecting the blind bag ponies. I would love to get more. I only have series one and I think maybe series two. No, I only have series one complete and then I kind of got bored because it was really hard to collect them. But like, man, my whole family helped me with that. <laughs> oh, but I love them. I want to get more so bad. Um, so anytime I find them thrifting, I have to get them. Uh, here is Flounder. I didn't know he was in here, but this is the perfect scale to go with uh, the Disney Store Ariel doll. So cool. That's Ronaldo running up the stairs. Here's the Littlest Pet Shop. I don't have him, so I just got it. There was a ton of Littlest Pet Shop, like, sets. And then there was even Littlest Pet Shop furniture and bags. But each of the bags that had furniture was ripped open. So I think pets were in each bag, but some somebody took them. Ugh, it's really rare. Like, re it's really hard to find Littlest Pet Shops at thrift stores, so. Um, that's a shame that I missed out. But I got this one, and I don't have him yet. It's a dog with furry ears. He's cute, and I love Littlest Pet Shops, so. Good find. A mailman, I guess. Um, oh, this is from the five um, Zuru Toys, what is it called? Mini Brands? But it's missing one of the handles, but still really cute and good for a display. Um, like if I set up a dollhouse or something. This really cute little cat, I have no idea what this goes to or like what brand this is. If y'all know, please let me know because it's going to be hard to identify. My camera, by the way, keeps focusing on Crazy Frog and like refuses to focus on anything else. Um, there's the cat. I really like the little cat. And then this little bear. This is like one of those counting bears maybe, but it's flocked. Very cute. Really good for like a display. Oh, this bag is really nice. This little Jack Specific Tiana. I don't like the Jack Specific like baby princesses, but it's Tiana and it came in this cool bag of other stuff. So, and um, she is pretty cute. And Tiana's actually like with, with most of the others, other than Moana and Tiana and a few others, it's kind of weird to see them in toddler form because you don't see them in the movie, and they're always themed after the movie, which hasn't happened yet. So I don't really vibe with them, but for Tiana specifically, she actually is a baby in the movie, or like a toddler in the movie. But this dress is clearly based on her wedding dress! But it's fine. She's cute. I really like her hair. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> um... Oh, cute! Uh, this little grumpy bear, but he looks like he was scraped against concrete, but he's cute. <laughs> um, something Paw Patrol has made it into my home. Ugh. Um, this horrifying thing from Trolls, I remember it. I don't remember what its deal was, though, if they even explained it. Um, donation bin. Um, sorry, last time... I made a video and I was saying like the bin, the bin, the bin, and everyone was like, you really just hoard things instead of getting rid of them when you don't want them. And it's like, the bin is the donation bin. Um, this goes to a poopsie slime surprise, I think. Oh, you know what? This probably goes to the one I want. You know, the one, the butterfly one. I want that one. <laughs> this is hilarious. It, I might go to one of those um, Mattel WWE Superstars dolls, but like it's a heavyweight champion belt. I think it's a heavyweight. I'm not sure. Because the heavyweight one's the really big one. Maybe not, though, because that wouldn't make sense for those dolls. But anyway, this would be so funny to put on other dolls, so that's kind of cool. Good find. Um, this is Kiko Man soy sauce. No, absolutely no idea what that goes to, but awesome, actually. Um, another really cute little cat. No idea who, where it's from. Honestly, it's probably one of those uh, loving family sets. Maybe. I don't know. The mold's a little bit uncanny valley. Two Paw Patrol things! Ugh. Ben. Is this Palace Pets or am I mistaken? The style is weird. Ugh! Paw Patrol and Minions! Ugh. Another one of those cute little flocked bears. These would be great for like dollhouses. I'm not mad at them. This little ball. This thing, I don't know. Um, rubber duck. I like those. Um, just half of a brown crayon, not even half a fourth of a brown crayon. <laughs> These two baby bottles are super cute. Um, I don't really do, I don't like to have like baby dolls though, so no display I would set up would, except if I had the Midge Happy Family set from when I was a kid, I would love to have like a baby set of her. <sighs> Paw Patrol, ugh. Um, this really cute bunny. It's probably an eraser, but I really like those. And then 
this giraffe. I'm sorry that the lighting is just an absolute disaster today. I'm sorry. Oh, do you like my shirt? I want someone to comment on it. I made it. I designed it. I drew it. I drew the picture. This is my handwriting and it's my design and you know who it is, hopefully. All right, next. I forgot about this one, actually. Um, this one might be named Sophina. I don't remember. Um, I am open to Moxie dolls now if they enter my life. I think they're pretty. I think they're really pretty. I like their faces. A lot of their outfits are questionable, though. But this one seems to be, like, complete. And she's really pretty. And her hair is really soft, like Saran, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah. Got her. Now I have, like, six Moxie dolls, maybe. She's really pretty, so happy to have her. Uh, her head is broken, definitely. Look. Maybe she has some kind of gimmick that's tripping me up. No, I have no idea. All right, next we have... Um, this one I'm really excited about. So, forgive me if I'm wrong, because I haven't looked at Care Bears in a long time, but when I was a kid, these were the style of Care Bears I collected, and this is the 25th anniversary bear. And I believe this is the Swarovski collab. There's a gold one and a silver one. And I really wanted the silver one, and I was going to buy it on eBay, so it's kind of crazy to find it at the thrift store. I think that's which one this is. If it's not, I'm sorry. Um, but regardless, he's really, really cute, and I paid $5. And he was, like, at the bottom of a pile of plushies. I only found him because I found Crazy Frog. And then at the bottom, I saw this one, and then that led me to this one. I didn't record that part. I just don't really record the plushie part, unless Brett's with me and makes it easier. I don't know. And then next to the dolls, I found this Chikorita. I don't have this one. I believe this is the Jax one. Oh, no, this is Tommy. This is a recent one. Huh. I have the one from when I was a kid, but I actually don't know where she is right now. But I like Chikorita. I think Chikorita's dope. And then the last thing I got, this is a little weird and random, but I saw it on my way out and I was like, you know what? Yes. It's this chameleon shirt. I feel like this is probably like a dentist shirt. <laughs> so, I'm gonna wear my dentist shirt. But like, it's chameleons and they're really cute and it just says a color of his own. Um, I really have no idea. If it's not for a dentist, cool, but if I put it on and feel like a dentist, I won't wear it. But it was $2.50, and I like chameleons, so I got it. It's just an impulse buy, really. Um, and there's all that garbage. So yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you went thrifting recently, if you found anything exciting. Um, I think the star of this thrift trip was obviously Crazy Frog. What a world we live in. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for this time. Bye!